Hi guys. In this video, we recorded a complete guide, how to use Midjourney. I'll tell you how to register and create cool photos in Midjourney. How you can do it for free. How to upload your photos and create your own server for comfortable work with this neural network. I'll also tell you about great prompts and give you a lot of cool features. Pour yourself some coffee or tea, and let's run. To register in Midjourney, open the website midjourney.com. Click on Join the Beta. We are transferred to Discord. Discord is a messenger that can be installed on a computer or phone. We register in Discord, or log in under your account, if you are already registered. I already have a Discord account, so I'll log into it. After registering, you need to confirm your email by clicking on the link that Discord will send to your email. This will be needed to create your server. But you may not do this if you want to work without your own server. We are given approximately 20 to 30 images for free. Therefore, purchasing a paid subscription is better if you want to generate many images. For $10 per month, you will get 200 minutes to generate pics and unlimited generations in relax mode. For $30, you get 15 hours and unlimited generations in relax mode. And for 60 bucks, you will have 30 hours of fast generations available. To use it always for free, you will have to create new accounts every time. On the main page in the Discord, we are interested in rooms called newbies. We choose any of them. There are people like us sitting here who create their pictures and we can see what they created. Under the terms of mid-journey, all people can use our generated images. We may also download and use any images generated by other users. You need to enter a request in this field to generate a picture. Enter. Slash imagine. This is the command to create a generation. Then we enter. Prompt. This is exactly the request. Write something here. At first, it doesn't matter to us what to write here, because first, we must sign a user agreement. Here need to click. Accept. All right. Now we can already write our requests. We write. Slash imagine. Prompt. And for example, car. So, while our request is being processed, let's talk about how to find requests. There is a very active feed here, and while we wait, other users throw in their requests, and our request will be lost somewhere behind. Keeping track of your requests is easier by clicking on this inbox icon. Here on the tab, Inbox, will be all your requests. We wait until our request is completed and click on Jump, and here is our request. In the top line, we have an upscale option for each of our four generated pictures. U1 corresponds to the upscale of the first picture, U2 to the upscale of the second, and so on. On the bottom line, we have variations. If we want the mid-journey to make a variation of the third picture, we must click on V3. Also, we have this icon. If we click on it, the mid-journey will generate other variations for us. If we like the picture, click on it and click. Open in browser. In the browser, right-click, select Save Image As, and save our image. If we need to save only one version of the image, we first need to make it upscale. For example, if we want to download only the second option, we need to click on U2, wait for the upscale to be ready. Click on Inbox. We see that our upscale is ready. Click Jump to go to our picture. And open this picture in the browser. Then save it. After creating the final work, we can still make some additional variations. We can also redo the upscale. So, that other people's user requests do not interfere with you, and it's convenient to use, it is better to create your own server. By the way, if you buy paid subscription, then the mid-journey bot will be in your friends, and you will communicate with him tete-a-tete. -tete. But this is also not as convenient as working on your own server. To create your own server, click the plus button to add a server. Create my own. For me and my friends. We can add any picture here. Here we can change the server's name. Click Create. Next, we need to add the mid-journey bot as a friend. To do this, you can go to one of the rooms. We're already in the room now, so we'll click on the member list. Click on mid-journey bot. And then click. Add to server. Select the server we created. We press continue. And click authorize. You'd get this error if you have not verified your email after registering. 
I'll now confirm my email, and we will continue. That's it, the server is ready, and now there is no one here except you and Midjourney Bot. If you don't want to create your own server, confirm your email for this, and you do not want to spend time looking for your requests in the feed, then there is the next option. You can open some of the old feed, where there are no new requests, and chat with the bot. For example, let's find an inactive feed in which the last activity was a few days ago. Let's open it. There are no new requests here, so we can safely make our requests here. Now let's talk about setting up mid-journey. To do this, enter slash settings in the query string. Press enter. Here are our settings. By default, the fourth version of mid-journey is used. This is the best version to date, so you should not change it. Niji mode is an anime mode. MJ test creates more creative, whimsical pictures. MJ test photo. This mode creates more realistic pictures. The default is base quality, but we can choose high quality. It should be taken into account that, in this case, it will cost twice as much in minutes and will be created twice as long in time. Line with styles. The first style low is a more creative or wackier picture style and style very high is more realistic. Line with upscales. Regular upscale is the best option. We not only preserve the quality but also add some details when the picture is enlarged. For light upscale, the picture will be more blurry in the output. And beta upscale the picture will be a little larger, but there may be artifacts, blurring, etc. The last line with settings is modes. Public mode what you create is in the public domain. Even if you work on your own server, your pictures will be displayed in one of the rooms. All your created images are owned by the community and can be used by anyone for commerce purposes too. The private mode is available at the steepest subscription of 60 bucks a month. In this case, your work will not end up in public rooms. Remix mode lets you add your queries to remix the suggested results. Fast mode, this mode spends minutes of paid subscriptions, and relax mode, an unlimited number of generations but with some kind of expectation of results. This mode is used when you run out of minutes. This mode also requires a paid subscription. Let's look at another command, info. Type slash info in the request field. This command displays information about our account. Here we can see the status of our subscription, modes, remaining hours, etc. Where can we get prompts? First, we can walk around the rooms, look at other people's prompts, and write out what we like. Here is an example of such a prompt. Or like this. We can take these prompts and test them. We can also visit the Midjourney community and look for cool pics there. You can sort, recent, or top. You can also view your work here. And to get full access to the gallery of works, you must subscribe to a paid subscription. There are also prompt helpers. I will give some examples and leave links in the description. If you need it, you can come and try it. Let's take this prompt helper as an example. Here you can select the topic you are interested in. I will choose the top category. Let's choose a few prompts. Now we click on our selected prompts. Here we click on copy. Now back to our bot. In the query window, for example, write cat and paste the copy prompt from the prompt helper. Press enter. We'll have to wait for a little while until mid-journey generates our pictures and we get the result. There is also a GitHub website that can help you with prompts. Here everything is conveniently divided into styles and themes, and you can see the approximate results for these prompts. Prompts can still be received using ChatGPT. Subscribe to our channel so you don't miss this video, where we will use ChatGPT to prompt mid-journey. We also can upload our picture. To do this, click on the plus sign. Upload a file. Let's choose an image. Press enter. Next, you need to click on the image and copy the URL of the image. And then we type slash imagine, prompt, insert a link to our image. And through the space, you need to write your requests. Let's copy our last queries. And let's paste them here. That is, we say what we want and in what style. We are waiting for the image to be generated. Here is such a remarkable monkey turnout.
Midjourney has recently added an interesting blending mode. In this mode, we can mix some pictures, like a monkey with a snake. To use blend mode, type slash blend in the query string. Let's choose two pictures. And let's upload a picture of a snake and a picture of a monkey. Press enter. And we wait until Midjourney generates pictures for us. This is the cool result we got. I also want to talk about the orientation of images. In the fourth version of Midjourney, you can create multiple image orientations. By default, Midjourney renders images in a square orientation, but we can use horizontal or vertical orientation. Let's show you how it works. Let's copy our previous prompt. To set the orientation, you need to add the command. AR3 colon 2. This is a horizontal image. And we see that the picture we get is more horizontal. AR2 colon 3. This is a more vertical image to the query string. Here are the three orientations you can use in the fourth version of Midjourney. Let's talk about weight. If we enter the query, sun, cloud, then Midjourney will draw the cloud and the sun in equal proportions. And here, we would like to specify the weight. To do this, we enter the request in this way. Slash imagine, prompt, sun, put a colon twice, and write the number two. Space, cloud, twice a colon, and the number one. The sun we get is equal to two, and the weight of the cloud is equal to one. You can do more or do less. Press enter. Now, according to such a request, the sun should be more than a cloud. Depending on your needs, sometimes it's better not to use weights, but you can always experiment with that. By the way, with the help of weight, we can try to remove elements we don't need by setting a value close to zero. For example, a picture was generated for us, against which there is a face. You can try to remove it with the weight parameter, using the face parameter value close to zero, for example, 0 0.5. There is a separate, no, parameter for exceptions. We can use this parameter if we fail to remove something using weight. Let's add it to our request. For example, add no black. Unfortunately, he does not always succeed, so you need to experiment. I hope our video was helpful for you and that your skills in mid-journey have improved significantly. Like this video and subscribe to our channel to avoid missing new interesting and useful videos. See you again in our next YouTube videos.